Okay, so picture this. Unreal tournament, right? Uh-huh. But instead of dodging rockets, you're like pulling off these crazy jumps like parkour, but in Unreal tournament. You're probably thinking, what is this madness? And you'd be right, it's bunny track. And luckily for us, someone, and I won't name any names, dropped a whole treasure trove of info about the UTBT World Cup 2024. Time for a deep dive. Oh yeah, we're talking signups, divisions, maps that sound like they were built by platforming ninjas. Get ready. It's going to be wild, and the passion in this community is contagious. But before we get ahead of ourselves, for those new to this whole bunny track thing, think Mario Kart meets parkour, all fueled by the Unreal Tournament engine. Spot on. Precision movement, perfect timing, knowing every nook and cranny of the maps. Mm -hmm. These players, they're operating on another level. Seriously. Right. And here's where it gets even cooler, UTBT. It's more than just a tournament. Global servers are up and running, keeping bunny track alive and kicking. And the best part, they've been doing this since 2021. 2021, that's dedication. Absolutely, and they're not just keeping the lights on, they're building something special here. Growing the community, pushing the competitive scene further. It's inspiring, really. It really is. And speaking of competition, did I mention five divisions? Five. It's like they have a spot for everyone. We're talking pros, casual players, even a division called waiter. Beginners. You're welcome here. Exactly. That inclusivity is what makes it so great. A place for beginners to learn without getting destroyed. A proving ground for the pros. Genius, really. It lowers the barrier to entry and lets the community thrive. We've seen it work wonders elsewhere. Oh, absolutely. But, and this is a big but, if you were thinking of signing up for this year's World Cup, you're a bit late. Signups are officially closed. Closed, yeah. But that doesn't mean you can't be involved. In fact, that's where things get really interesting. So you're probably thinking, all right, signups are done, but can I like watch this epic showdown? And that's where UTBT really shines. It's not just about playing, it's about the community, you know? Absolutely. And they've nailed it. They're looking for streamers, commentators, people to work behind the scenes. They've even put out a call for people who've never streamed before, offering to help with overlays and stuff. How cool is that? Seriously. Talk about welcoming. But before we dive into that rabbit hole, let's talk about those who conquered the qualification rounds. The leaderboards are out there for the stat lovers, but for now, let's break down the main event, shall we? Oh, it's going to be intense. Imagine this. Group stages make sense. Got to narrow the playing field, right? But then, bam, double elimination playoffs. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Double elimination. (laughs) For those of us who might not be familiar with that format, explain it like we're five. (laughs) You got it. (laughs) Basically, you got to lose twice to be out. This keeps things interesting, gives players a chance to redeem themselves, and the matches. Intense doesn't even begin to cover it. Talk about pressure, but wait, there's more, right? You mentioned something about a time attack mode. That sounds... Wild. Wild is an understatement. Okay, so picture a match. It's close, like down to the wire close. Instead of overtime, they hit you with time attack mode. Single cap sprint, first to three captures wins, no room for error, every Uh, second counts. I'm getting stressed just thinking about it. Speaking of stress, we have to talk maps. 78 maps, five divisions. That's a whole lot of digital ground to cover. It really shows you how creative the bunny track community is. And the cool thing is, UTBT goes out of its way to feature new, lesser-known maps. Gives players a chance to, like, really explore the game. And it's not just about how many rate. The map list for this year's World Cup. Finalized. Locked in. And some of these names, man, they're intimidating. Rebellion. Jail. <laughs> just hearing them makes me want to brush up on my bunny hopping, you know? Oh, for sure. And trust me, those are just a taste. Especially in the Premier Division. We're talking maps designed to make even the best players sweat. It's not just speed anymore, it's strategy, adaptability, mastering those tiny moves that separate the pros from, well, everyone else. Like, it's one thing to run a marathon, it's another to run it through an obstacle course, blindfolded, right? But here's the thing that gets me this community, their dedication. It goes way beyond just playing. I know, right? It's incredible. They want people streaming matches, doing commentary, even jumping in on the admin side. The UTBT World Cup. It's not just a tournament, it's a full-blown celebration of everything Bunny Track. And that's what makes it so awesome. Reminds you that games, they're more than pixels. It's the communities that bring them to life. Who knows, maybe this will inspire other forgotten games to make a comeback. Wouldn't that be something? Gives you hope, yeah. Even in these little corners of the gaming world, passion, dedication can make a difference. Absolutely. And while we wait to see who takes the crown this year at the UTBT World Cup, one thing's for sure the future of Bunny Track. Looking bright. Really bright. Couldn't agree more.
So whether you're a bunny track veteran or just now discovering this whole world, remember the UTBT World Cup. It's proof that community matters, competition is thrilling, and hey, sometimes it's fun to just bunny hop your way to victory. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some practicing to do.